contents, very nice. Okay, let's flip this around. Hi and welcome to Stephen Hollick Talks Tech. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing, setting up, and installing the CamLink Pro. If you're unfamiliar with the CamLink, the CamLink is a device that allows you to take HDMI input from a camera or a gaming console and converts it to USB and allows your computer to see it as a webcam. And this device has become especially popular during COVID times as many people have decided to um, take up recording videos on YouTube or wanted to use a high-end camera like a Sony mirrorless or a DSLR as their webcam for their computer. The, the cam link, the original cam link, retails for about $130. Um, and I've actually been using some cam link knockoffs that I got on Amazon for about 20 bucks. And that's how I recorded most of my YouTube videos and also got the feed from my gaming console into my PC. But I've wanted to upgrade to better picture quality um, to allow me to record 4K or just even higher frames per second from my gaming console. And uh, I didn't want to have to buy multiple cam links, right? I have the my Sony mirrorless camera as well as my Xbox. I didn't want to have to buy two cam links to do that. So they recently came out with this cam link pro. Uh, it, it installs via PCIe and allows you to take in four 4K inputs via HDMI. So today I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you the installation into my gaming PC. We're gonna play around with the software along with OBS and, and start using this. Um, and I'll give you my first impressions of what it's like. If you're new here to Stephen Hellwig Talks Tech, we appreciate every like, subscribe, and comment. I love to hear from you. I love commenting on your comments and hearing the things that you say. So please leave a comment below. If you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscribe button now and hit the bell if you wanna get alerted for new videos. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're here with the CamLink Pro. Let's unbox this and just take a look at the contents. It should be a pretty quick unboxing. So we're gonna first uh, just slice open the edges here. There we go. One side, we'll get the other side. Okay. Put that aside here. And we'll remove this little tab. Awesome. Opens nice and easy. Okay. All right, let's see if we can slide out. Contents, very nice. Okay, let's flip this around. Oh, it's great, I love the presentation. It has a little box here. I think it goes, kind of goes both ways. So there's some instructions on this front panel. It tells you to download the Elgato CamLink 4K Capture Utility to get started. So we'll download that and test that uh, utility out. But I'm, most of the time, I'm probably gonna be using OBS um, to do most of the work, but uh, we'll ch definitely check out the software. Let's pull this out here, just take a look at it. Put this to the side. So underneath there is uh, this little Elgato. It looks like a sticker. It's a division of Corsair. And then there are some instructions at the bottom. So probably that's about it. Yeah, this is actually, as I thought, very little in this box. So we'll put this and this back in here and we'll just take a look at the device. As you can see, it's quite compact actually. So it's not a large device. Okay. So we can see there are the four HDMI inputs here on the back. We'll slide this out. Be very careful with it not to touch any of the pins. So yeah, so four HDMI inputs. See what it looks like on the bottom here. CamLink Pro. And uh, let's turn it over. Take a look. So there's like a metal sheath around it here. I'm trying to see if I can see what's inside. But uh, it's just the other side of the card, I'm guessing. Yeah, hold it up so you can see it here. So pretty compact device. I'll have space, more than enough space for this inside the machine. Uh, and it's basically just, you know, it's like the internals of uh, four cam links stitched together on a single card. So next I'm gonna disconnect my gaming PC and we are going to 
put it here on the surface and, uh, and we're gonna install the device. Okay, you can see the internals of my device here. If you're interested in figuring out what's in this build, you can check out the YouTube video that I made at the very early days of my channel on every component in this build. Um, obviously there are certain things you probably would change out now since I did this build about nine months ago, but I've really enjoyed using this PC since I've built it. And it's certainly been a workhorse for me, both uh, in, with video games and work and video editing. So I think where I'm gonna put this is right in this slot here, in this PCI E3 slot. So I'm gonna remove um, the shield here on this side and hope that it slides in there fairly well. I'll take that off and I'll go ahead and pull that shield out. And then let's see if we can slide that in there. I'm gonna go in and you can see kind of the pin connectors here. Hopefully it will fit okay. Yep. Okay. Feels nice and snug in there. Good, okay. So that is fairly easy. We'll go ahead and try to screw this back in. All right, so you can see it fits in there right next to this GeForce RTX. I think I have a 2060 in here um, and it's in there nice and snug. All right, well, let's get the computer turned on and test it out and uh, get it hooked up with the software. So I've got it hooked up here. You can see kind of the front of my, on the side of my gaming PC. You can actually see everything reflected in it, so it's hard to see. But you can see here the, um, the Camlink Pro, and you'll see I have the Xbox plugged in here into HDMI 2, and over here is my Sony. So a little psychedelic here, as you can see me in this screen twice, but what you're looking at actually is, uh, this is the 4K capture utility, which is um, the software that I just downloaded from Elgato. And uh, this scene is being composed in OBS. So I have my um, myself to one side and then the 4K capture utility is actually bringing in the camera, which is pretty neat because you can actually do multiple camera uh, inputs and have multiple programs using the camera at one time. Um, so uh, I'm actually gonna go through some of the settings in the 4K capture utility. Uh, if you look up at this gear icon on the right hand side here, you can see the first pop screen that pops up are some general settings, um, the format that you want to do things into. I don't think I can change it while it's in the middle of recording. Um, and then if, whether or not you want it to automatically check for updates. And then here you can go through the devices. So you see here it has the various capture devices. In my case, the HDMI 1 is my camera. HDMI 2 is the Xbox. Um, I'll actually turn the Xbox on here so if we change it, we can see uh, which one it is. But you can see as I change the device, uh, what's being shown behind actually adjusts as well. So we'll go back to here. And the nice thing is you can have a multi-view layout. So I can say that the feed coming in from my camera is going to be a side-by-side. -side. And what you're gonna notice is OBS is gonna adjust as well, right? Because OBS is pulling the feed from uh, the cam link. So I can do a picture-in-picture -picture or a side-by-side. Um, or just a full screen. Generally, I'm gonna compose my scenes in OBS, so I'm not gonna use this software really that much, quite honestly, but I'll show you how it, uh, kinda how it works. Here, you can adjust some uh, uh, information, such as, or some picture settings, which I'm not gonna do, uh, and then here, you can make some settings around uh, where you wanna store screenshots and videos, um, what encoder you wanna use. It's automatically picking up my graphics card, the RTX 2060, and then what format. And you can see here, I'm going 1080p at 60, frames per second, but I could go all the way up to 20, 2160 at 60 frames per second. Adjusting, you can adjust bit rate as well, and then flashback recording. 
Um, for my mic, it's, this is picking up my default microphone, but um, actually inside uh, OBS, I use the output out of voice meter. So um, voice meter is the tool that I use to adjust my audio settings for my mic. So not a ton of settings in here. Uh, if we go over to the library, you can see some more settings in here where it's recorded uh, some other scenes. You can you can kind of delete this stuff and it's storing it in my uh, in my computer. And then there's there's tags and other things you can do. That's actually a kind of a neat feature because you see here I can adjust the title. Uh, I can put what game it is and then I can put tags and those tags are associated with my recordings. So if you do end up wanting to use the 4K capture utility, um, those are so just some general settings of how to use it. So one of the major reasons I got the new Camlink Pro is I have my Xbox One S actually uh, feeding through my computer into OBS. I use it for recording, but also I just use it to play if I wanted to play my Xbox One S on my computer monitors um, without necessarily having to plug it into the monitor directly. I've been using the, the cheap uh, HDMI uh, you know, converter that I got off of Amazon a while back. And um, as you might expect, it's pretty terrible. The, the feed is okay, but it's 30 frames per second, 1080p, it's choppy, it's just grainy. So I'm gonna just play a little bit of Pro Evolution Soccer using the Camlink Pro. And what I'm gonna do in a little bit is I will do some side-by-side -side comparison so you can see some different game footage with the um, uh, Camlink Pro and the old Amazon 1080p card that I got for 20 bucks. That way you can see the visible difference. Okay. Okay. And I can already tell you, it's just so much smoother than it used to be. I don't know if that's going to help me necessarily against Liverpool, but yeah, there you go. Oh, ooh, lucky. <laughs> they gave me a foul. Pick. Oh, that's probably offside. Nope. Still on. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab some different game footage. Um, I'm gonna put plug in, plug back in this old device, and uh, test it with uh, with both the new Camlink Pro and this device. Maybe I'll do a little bit of PES, FIFA. Um, I'll see what else I have. MLB The Show. I might have it on this uh, Xbox One S as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Camlink Pro from Elgato. I can already tell you that just from playing a couple video games and doing some recordings, the quality is so much better than those uh, cheap devices I was using off of Amazon. So excited to bring you even cleaner video and content uh, in my future videos. Uh, as always, appreciate every like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers here in my first year on YouTube. So if you've yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified. Leave a comment. Just let me know what you thought or if you have any ideas for future videos. All right. See you soon. Bye.